Uh, my name is Christy Clays, and I'm the Land and Recreation Manager for the Placer Land Trust and the Preserve Manager for our Shootamal Preserve. And I'm Darren Ross. I'm a volunteer naturalist uh, who's conducted some surveys out here on Shootamal property. Placer Land Trust purchased this preserve at the end of 2005 and um, it's along the Bear River and half a mile of Bear River protected um, along this preserve here. And we're out here today because Darren has come out and done a lot of um, butterfly surveys or at least looking for a particular species out here that um, is rare and that we discovered um, this really well on this particular property. Well, what makes them all unique is that we have the host plant which is Amorpha californica californica for the dog-faced butterfly, which is the state insect. And typically, you'll find Amorpha growing in sparsely populated areas, in, in canyons, in the foothills. But you'll rarely ever see it growing like it does here. It is almost like a monoculture, an understory, which has made this property super unique because there's dog-faced butterflies everywhere. One of the stats that people often throw out about the butterfly is that one in 10,000 people ever see a dog-faced butterfly. And when you come out here, you see probably hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a special place. So Shootemol um, Preserve was named Shootemol um, when we purchased the property in homage to the Native Americans that had settled this area and little villages all along the Bear River. And it has a special, unique um, human history out here as well that uh, just the seclusion is, it has a special feel. Yes, yeah, one of our, or my theories, <laughs> and I don't know how many other people agree with me, and that is that the reason this is growing this abundantly out here, this host plant, is that because there was a Native American village here, and it was not very common for the village people to burn the entire area around the village. And this particular plant thrives under those fire-type conditions. Where everything else would be burned off, this plant's root system allows it to come back even more, uh, more healthy and vigorous. Um, we haven't proven that yet, but uh, that's the only theory we have so far. <laughs> the Bellhart Museum at UC Davis has been a big supporter of this uh, preserve and the work that's being done out here, and they assist us every year. So the, the purpose of us coming out here today in these interesting times is we would normally have um, the public able to, to join us on our Joseph led hikes and learn from folks like Darren about the butterflies and why this preserve is so special and we know so many people are home and not able to do this right now and we're not able to offer those at the moment but we wanted to be able to bring a picture of this magical place home to everyone to see what it was like and when we do kind of open back up and are able to gather out here we'd love to have folks out here and check, check the butterflies out.